Welcome! In front of me I have Sunto Race and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button and you need to keep holding it until, until the watch vibrates and basically the Sunto logo appears on the screen. Once you see the Sunto logo you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. And after it turns on you should see this on the screen, select language. Once you see it you can swipe left to continue and now you should see the list of languages. You can scroll through it, find the language you would like to use on your watch and once you find it you can tap on this language to select it. Now we need to set up our, our profile. To do it swipe left, select the gender then swipe left, select the uh, birth year and swipe left, select the unit system you want and swipe left of course, to continue like this. Next we have the time format, select the preferred one and swipe left. Then we have the weight, select the weight and swipe left. Then the height and swipe left. And finally as you can see we need to connect our uh, watch with the uh, Sunto app. So basically we need to download the Sunto app on our phone and use it to connect the devices. So go to your phone and uh, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the Play Store on your phone, tap on search, tap on the search bar and type in Sunto. And then tap on search. And you should see this application on the list, Sunto by Sunto. Tap on the install button to download and install the application. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, you probably will see this pop up with the emails. Basically, you can tap on the email to continue with the email login. Um, you can also tap on none of the above and then you can use the Facebook account or something else. I, I want to use this email account actually to log in, so I'm going to tap on it. It's going to bring me to this page. I can and The email will be entered automatically. We can tap on continue. And if you have the account associated with this uh, email address, you can enter the password and login. And if you don't have the uh, account associated with this email address, it will basically let you to create a new account. I already have an account, like I said before, so I'm going to log in. And after you log in, you will see this uh, message, probably. I don't know. Uh, I, I already created the account, so that's why maybe I see this message. But once you see this message, tap on continue. And here, as you can see, we need to allow some of the permissions for uh, to connect our devices. So you need to tap on allow location and allow it. Next, we have the allow nearby devices and allow it. Here you can uh, sign up for the um, newsletter if you want to. I'm going to tap on skip. And finally, you should see the home page of the app. Now, tap on this device icon. Oh, never mind. I'll, 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 as you can see, it started automatically, but if it doesn't start searching for the nearby devices, uh, you can tap on this device icon, it will open the device page, it will start searching for the nearby devices, and it should detect your uh, Sunto race. For some reason, it detects the other one. Oh, no, here's the Sunto race. Um, you can tap on pair. I believe this is the one that already is connected to my uh, account. So uh, that's why it's grayed out. We can't uh, pair it anymore. So find the name of the watch, Sunto Race. Even you can you can you can even check the ID of the watch. As you can see, it's the same. So once you find it, tap on pair, and tap on pair. Enter the key from your watch. Tap on pair. You will see the pop-up mobile paired. Here we have a tutorial how to use our watch. You can go through it. You can also set up the uh, network so you can connect your watch to the Wi-Fi network if you like to. You can tap on set up network. And here we can tap on add network. Tap on OK. It will suggest some networks to you. And once it does, you can tap on the network you want to connect to, enter the password because it will probably be password uh, protected. And once you enter the password, it will start connecting.
and I believe it is connected right now. Okay, we can go back. Next, we have the option to download maps. If you want to use the offline maps, you can tap on download maps. And here you can search by the name and download them right now. Uh, also, it's recommended to connect your watch to the charger because it's gonna probably take some time for them to download. Uh, I don't want to download any, so I'm gonna just skip this step. And then we can select the widgets. So basically you can tap on select widgets and you can customize which widgets should be on your watch. So if you swipe up on the home screen, here we have the widget list basically, and you can turn them on and off. So for example, like if I turn off the heart rate, it should disappear from here. It's still here. Let's reopen this list and see if it's gonna disappear. Yeah, as you can see, it is gone. So you can customize this widget list if you like to. And once you're done, of course, you can uh, go back. And then uh, we can tap on the X right here. If you see this pop up, tap on allow. And if you want to receive the notifications from your phone uh, on your watch and you see this pop up about the notification access, allow it. If you don't care, you can deny it. And then we can tap on done. As you can see, it's already transferring the update to our watch. Uh, so it might be having problem with syncing, but basically the device is already connected. It's just uh, taking some time to sync because it's downloading the update. Will it sync? Probably not. So I'm just gonna leave it be and let the update to uh, download. But as you can see at this point, the devices are connected and paired. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.